All right, everyone. Here we are with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To all the first-time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel, and to all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video, and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of the video, guys. Right after this chart analysis, I have a ticker symbol to share with everyone, as well as the opportunities I mentioned over at the Discord to the members this morning. And if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of, and you want to know what stocks I watch daily. You're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors looking to learn and grow together. I managed to find a home run opportunity that gave us 20% plus, giving a highest point of possibility at its peak of 50% plus on the day. So stay tuned for that. So here we are with SPCE and Virgin Galactic holding stock is actually sitting sideways right now after pulling back right spce stock has actually pulled back a little bit had a nice little jump came back down and almost seems to be forming some consolidation here if this continues right we don't really want to see this just fall right back down and collapse and we don't really want to see this run up too high because it can overextend and make the pullback worse if not build some strength within this area some people look at pullbacks as setbacks and those that are long or see an opportunity, don't look at it as a setback, if not a setup for the next run. That's right. Set up for the next run. I look forward to seeing what your thoughts are. Do you still hold positions? Did you get in on the dip? Did you buy more on the dip? And do you think this is going to squeeze any further? Or do you think this just got started? Could this go higher or this is done for now? And it could go into further weakness. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. So these are the points of reference I will be watching going into tomorrow. So the 50-day moving average is 50-54, guys, to be exact. 50-54. Anything above it is bullish. Anything below it is bearish. The first support level I would watch, which is the lowest point in this dip, is right here at this point of 52.55. Okay? That gets crossed between 52 and 55. And the 50-day moving average, I would try and see if the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up. Or if the bears are going to tear this down fairly fast. Super important to watch moving forward. Now, this is an important resistance level, but there's an even more important one beyond it. And it's the highest point we've seen in this run and in this jump from Friday to today. And it hit new highs in the pre-market. So let's look at this. So... For the bulls to actually push this up higher, right, and go up higher away from the 50-day moving average, well, the first step is 57.53. 57.53 needs to be turned into a support so that the bulls can break away from it, reach newer highs, and pull further away from the 50-day moving average. But the highest point reached in this run is 60.95. I would just round that up to $61.00. That needs to be broken through significantly for this rally to continue, for this push to keep on going higher, for the bulls to maintain leverage and pull further away from the 50-day moving average in a significant manner up to the upside, okay? And forcing shorts to have to squeeze at these levels and turn into bulls away from being bears and turning them into bulls. If you learned something new, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that I post. Share this with a friend so they can receive the insight as well. And all I ask for is three to five more minutes of your time. I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys, as well as the opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And if you want to know what stocks I watch daily, the link is down below in the description to the Discord. And we look forward to having you join us. Stay tuned. So the ticker symbol I have to share with you guys today is one that I've mentioned since way back in January and the highest point that it reached this year, it gave 30% plus since I mentioned it. It's pulled back and consolidated in the last several months, showing some strength and I'm really liking it. And not only that, I've always believed that this is a long-term opportunity and we're going to look at the chart and what ticker symbol it is in just a moment. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the opportunities that I mentioned this morning over at the discord to the members and if that's something you want to become part of you're more than welcome to join us 
The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors looking to learn and grow together. So I mentioned MNKD. This gave us small jumps of about 3 to 5%. RSLS, this one jumped up giving 5 to 10% opportunities. And I mentioned DARE giving us 3 to 5% opportunities on the day. But our home run of the day was MRIN. Now, I've talked about this one since it was at $2. And the higher it goes, the more riskier it becomes, in my opinion, right? But I was going to be watching it. It seemed to have some momentum. It had volume. And here we are to see the home run that it gave for the day. This was the highest point of possibility, 50% plus. When I mentioned it, when I was watching it in the pre-market at 528, jumped up, pulled back down, had a lot of volatility in the first 30 minutes of the day, pulled back down to a low here of about 497, 495, and it took off for the rest of the day, giving multiple opportunities and a highest point of possibility of 50% plus. Now, if this is something you want to become part of and you want to know what stocks I watch daily, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. So what's the stock I have added to my watch list for some time? And it's a ticker symbol I want to share with you guys. That is ZNGA Zynga Inc. This is when I started talking about it. I circled that. I talked about it multiple times. I even talked about it again when it pulled back. And that's when it took off to $12 in just a few weeks after that. Now, since that point, it pulled back down. And you could see that there's some strength within this area right the lowest point that we've seen it touch since january is 935 and there's been some strength within that 935 960 970 and even 10 dollar range and it never touched those points again these are great buying the quote-unquote dip opportunities for the long-term investors and for the short term these have been the best opportunities to swing trade but over time it's been very volatile through the ups and downs but consolidated within this area. Because when we zoom out of the bigger picture here, right? If I go to one day, you could see that this has had strength for some time and it's working its way up to newer highs, newer lows. And I believe it can continue in that trajectory if the business continues to grow as they plan to and if things continue to go as they've been planning to over time. So this is great stuff. This is definitely a stock to do more research on, but I like the strength that it's had so far in these areas and these dips being actually higher than the lowest point that we saw in January, just showing strength of this moving upwards and staying within this area. Now, if we go down here, you could see that financials was growing and in 2020, they took a little bit of a hit, right? Compared to what they were making in the past. So 2020 was a little bit of a rough patch for them, but 2021, things are starting to turn around. And it's projected that the stock is going to continue to become more profitable, continue to grow, get more user base. And the niche that it's in is said to grow over time. And you can see it reflect in the stock itself. So the highest point that it's reached recently is $12. Gave us a nice 30% jump at that point. And from where it's sitting at right now, that's a nice little 10 to 20% jump from this area. Now, if you look up analysis ratings, you'll see that they're pointing this one to the upside. And like I said, do more due diligence, do more research, but this is a stock that's showing strength within this area and these points of this year and how it's moved. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm just here to align you guys on the stocks I'm watching, why I'm watching them. And thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.